This is a ground control room from Ginger Audio. And what it lets you do is control all of these sound sources on your Mac in one place. Switch between audio input sources like multiple audio interfaces, system sounds, microphones, etc. Uh, create virtual cables, switch between outputs to hear your audio on different speakers, add plugins to the input and output, and even stream your DAW audio with OBS. Now, if you're more into podcasting and YouTubing, they do have another app called Ground Control Caster that we will cover in a different video, but a lot of the features do overlap. Now, there's a lot you can do with Ground Control Room, and there's no way to cover all of the possibilities in one video. So, in this video, we'll go over the basics, check out the interface, see how it works, set it up with our DAW, create a virtual cable, route system sounds, switch speakers, and route DAW audio into OBS. First, we'll take a quick overview of the interface. So here is Ground Control Room. The interface is freely resizable. You can pin it so it stays on top of other windows. Come to settings to change things like your buffer, set up MIDI, keyboard shortcuts, set your master clock, and preferences. Under Windows, you can check for updates, bring all windows forward, etc. On this side, you have your inputs, and on this side, you have your outputs. Just select the ones that you want to hear, and if you want multiple inputs and outputs active at the same time, just click the lock icon, and the source will stay on as you switch through your inputs or outputs. To set your input source, click this arrow and choose from your available inputs for each slot. You can also create a virtual cable here. And the same thing for your outputs. Click the arrow and set up your outputs for each slot. Use the fader next to each slot to adjust the input volume for each source. And the same thing for your outputs. So if you happen to have a pair of studio monitors, for example, that are louder than your other outputs, you can adjust that here. You can add a plugin to each input and output by clicking the plus icon. Now, these plugins do not come with Ground Control Room. So what you see will be based on the plugins that you have installed on your system. But for example, you could add a channel strip uh, for a mic input, a guitar amp for a guitar input, a limiter, room correction, or streaming plugin to an output, etc., etc. The big volume knob in the middle controls the total volume. You can quickly mute, check your mix in mono, and dim the volume by the amount that you set with this knob. You can listen to the left and right channels individually and invert the phase. Back on the input side, you'll see the two Q level knobs. And here you can adjust the level of each input source that gets sent to the Q output, which is usually a headphone amp. There's also a built in talkback input that is routed to the Q output. So if you need to talk to an artist, you can set up your mic here and then use this switch to choose between momentary or latch for the talkback input. Now, let's see this in action and connect our DAW with Ground Control Room. I'll set Ground Control Room as the playback device for my DAW, which in this case is Studio One. And then I'll set the recording device to my audio interface. This way I'll be able to use the inputs on my audio interface to record microphones, guitars, etc. in my DAW. And then use Ground Control Room to control the output volume and switch speakers. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of different ways we could set this up, so feel free to experiment on your own. But we will go with this. I'll play back, and we don't see any input in Ground Control Room yet, because we have to set up that input source. I'll use slot A, and set the input to Ground Control Room, Stereo 1-2. And again, that's because, if you remember, we set Ground Control Room as the output for Studio One. And there we go. Now we are getting input. Let's activate that input. Very good. But we still don't hear anything. 
And of course, that is because we still haven't set up our outputs. So for slot A, I'll set it to the built-in output, which is the MacBook Pro speakers. For slot B, I'll set it to the studio monitors plugged into outputs one and two on the audio interface. For slot C, I'll set it to the studio monitors plugged into outputs three and four on the audio interface. And of course, if you have multiple audio interfaces connected to your computer, you could use that as well for another output source or input source for that matter. For the sub slot, instead of using a sub, let's use a Bluetooth device. It could be Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. So let's set it to an Echo Dot. Awesome. Then just activate the output that you want to hear. A is our laptop speakers. B is the black speakers. And I'll turn those down a bit since they are louder than the other speakers that we have. C is the white speakers. And the sub slot is the Bluetooth speaker. So as you can see and hear, this makes it very easy to check your mix on a range of different speakers. And if you want to hear multiple speakers at the same time, instead of switching them, just click the lock. Next, we'll route the system audio into ground control room. So you could set this to ground control room, depending on what you're trying to do, but I want to create a virtual cable, that way it's easier to route into OBS later on. I'll come to slot B and add a virtual cable, name it Mac Sounds or System Audio, or if you are creating a virtual cable for a specific program, you could name it Zoom or Skype or Studio One or Logic, you know, whatever you want. For the ins and outs, we want two for stereo. Make sure it's on. Then come back up here and choose Mac Sounds for the system sounds. Come back to slot B and choose Mac Sounds for our input. I'll play this video and you can see the input. Activate it and then switch through your outputs that we set up earlier. Linear shot without other objects obscuring. Then I'll play back the DAW at the same time. Switch to A and we hear the DAW. Switch to B and we hear the system sounds or of course use the lock and hear both at the same time. Don't forget you can trim your inputs to balance them out if you need to. And we can also adjust the volume for each source that we are sending to the Q mix, which is separate from the main mix that you hear on your speakers. I'll set the Q output to 5.6 on my audio interface, which is these headphones right here. And then I'll set the talkback input to a microphone. You can even use the built-in mic or a USB mic, mic plugged into your interface, you know, whatever you want. And then whenever you activate the talkback, it's routed directly to the Q, which again is the headphones. Next, maybe you want to hear audio from your iPhone or iPad. No problem. Of course, make sure you set it up first in audio MIDI setup. And then I'll put this on C, I'll choose iPad, turn it on, and then you can hear your iPhone or iPad audio through your studio monitors. And of course, switch through any other speakers. I can't imagine that's real. Wow. Do it! Now let's route our DAW and system audio into OBS. We already have ground control room as the output for Studio One. And our system audio is still set to our virtual cable that we created earlier and named Mac Sounds. In OBS, create a desktop capture if you don't have one. Then I'll create an audio input capture, name it DAW Audio, and set the device to ground control room. Now, when I play back my DAW, you see the audio is routed into OBS. Then on the desktop audio track, click the gear icon, Properties, 
and set the source to Mac Sounds. I'll play this video, and you can see the audio is routed into OBS. We can play back in Studio One or whatever your DAW is at the same time. And then of course, add a mic directly into OBS or into your DAW if you need it. Now, keep in mind, set up like this, your changes in ground control room won't affect the levels going into OBS, all right? So you would control that within OBS or the separate apps. So that is ground control room and a few different ways that you can use it. Again, there are many different ways to set this up, so feel free to download that fully functional trial, that free trial and experiment for yourself. You can also check out Ground Control Caster while you're here and see if that suits your needs better for streaming. And you can also get the free Ground Control Cube just by signing up. All right, so once again, that is Ground Control Room from Ginger Audio.